हेलो एवरी वन आई एम प्रोफेसर पी एम चौगला एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एस पी एम एच जी एस आर्ट्स एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज मधभावी फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ करेंट अकाउंट एंड कैपिटल अकाउंट ऑफ बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स दिस कंसेप्ट टेकन फ्रॉम बी ए फोर्थ सेमिस्टर इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक्स रानी चेन्नम यूनिवर्सिटी बेलगवी एक्सामेशन हेल्ड इन दि मंथ आफ मे जून टू थौसंड एटीन फॉर as a compulsory question friends this question solved by me and edited by dr mg bangari sir hod department of economics arts and commerce college ilkal on behalf of all student friends and teacher friends sir thank you very much friends before going to discussion i want to request you all kindly subscribe to my youtube channel to get updated videos and share this content as possible as much to your uh, classmates and friends okay with this friends here i have question paper for semester ba degree examination held in the month of may june 2018 for international economics subject okay so section d it have compulsory question for 15 marks friends here Question number eleven. The statement following are the exports and imports of India. Okay. One side they have given here particulars, other side they have given the data measured in terms of crore rupees. Okay. Exports of minerals sixty thousand crore rupees. Imports of food grains eighty thousand crore rupees. Exports of services twenty thousand crore rupees. Capital received. Eighteen thousand crore rupees. Imports of services seven thousand five hundred crore rupees. And then gifts received two thousand crore rupees. Gifts offered nine thousand crore rupees. Capital payments three thousand five hundred crore rupees. Okay. On this basis, friends, here three questions have been asked for you. A question A give the meaning of balance of payments. And question B prepare. Current account and capital account of India's balance of payments using EBO data, and question C state the position of India's balance of payments. Okay, so we'll go to the next section that is the solution section. Here, A meaning of balance of payment. Friends, before going to meaning of balance of payment, it is very important to clarify. meaning of balance of trade meaning of balance of trade okay balance of trade means the difference between merchandise exports and merchandise imports it is a balance on the trade account it is related to only trade in commodities it is a balance on commodities account it includes only visible items the services are invisible items i hope that you clearly understood about the balance of trade and then next uh, the important aspect that is what is balance of payments what is balance of payments okay balance of payments is a systematic record of all economic transactions between the residents of one country and the residents of the rest of the countries of world rest of countries of world it depicts the overall position of the country relating to international transactions okay so i hope that you you clarified about this aspect and then in the words of frederick benham in the words of frederick benham the balance of payment of a country is a record of its monetary transactions over a period with the rest of the world with the rest of the world so uh, both the uh, the the meaning part and the definitional part are very synonymous with each other okay so friends with this now we will move to the next aspect uh, that is meaning of current account meaning of current account it is very important thing before to calculate current account 
and capital account the theoretical part is most important to understand and correctly uh, give uh, result okay so here meaning of current account current account it includes the flow of goods and services the flow of goods and services it means import and export of goods and services and unilateral transfer like gifts got it the current account consists of all transactions relating to reporting country's national income and current expenditures these include exports and imports of goods and services along with unilateral transfers the current account include the account of visible and invisibles items the visible item refer to physical goods or merchandise imports and exports the balance on the merchandise account is referred to as balance of trade so i hope you clarified about the concept of current account and now we will move to the next aspect that is meaning of capital account it means what do you mean by capital account and how it is to be uh, constructed okay the capital account shows the position of a country with reference to its international investment in the words of bj cohen all such private or official transactions affecting the international investment position in a country rather than its current income are segregated from segregated from the current account and grouped instead in the capital account of balance of payments got it and then further he has given a few examples to clarify and to clearly understood about the concept of capital account which are these examples of the items constituting the capital account like a direct investment transactions involving a permanent interest in the enterprise outside the country of the residents portfolio investment means a transaction in assets and liabilities outside the country of the residents with an original majority of more than 12 months and uh, government capital it means official transactions in assets and liabilities outside the country of the residents excluding reserves assets etc in brief capital account shows capital movements or investment in a country okay so friends i hope that you clearly understood about this aspect and then now we will move to the next aspect that is table number 1 preparation of current account and capital account of balance of payments the data are measured in terms of crore rupees so preparation of the balance of payments account okay so first of all at the left side i put here credits and right side debits first of all we have to construct the current account okay export of minerals 60000 crore rupees import of food grains 80000 crore rupees export of services 20000 crore rupees import of services 7500 crore rupees and gifts received 2000 crore rupees gifts offered 9000 crore rupees by summing these all credit side datas we got receipts that is 82000 crore rupees and summing of all the debit side datas we got payments that is 96500 crore rupees okay these pertaining to current account datas okay friends now we'll move to the next aspect that is the uh, construction of capital account the data is pertaining to capital account are as follow following capital received how much 18000 crore rupees and capital payments 3500 crore rupees okay friends by summing 
these all current account datas and capital account datas we got the total receipts a plus b a means current account datas b means capital account datas okay by summing these two 82000 crore rupees plus 18000 crore rupees equals to 1 lakh crore rupees okay and then here by summing this uh, payments it means the current account payments and capital account payments it means 96500 crore rupees and 3500 crore rupees by summing these two datas we got 1 lakh crore rupees that is total payments okay friends by observing this above calculation table number one states that the balance of payment position of India is equilibrium or balanced it means 1 lakh crore rupees total receipts equal to 1 lakh crore rupees of total payments got it so on this account we may say that the balance of payments position of India that is balanced so friends this is concerned to construction of the uh, current account and capital account of balance of payments okay so friends thank you very much so kindly uh, keep social distancing and uh, take care of your health in this covid uh, 19 so friends i wish you all the best thank you